Hey guys, Henry here. The date today is the 10th of March 2021. I'm not going to lie, it has been a while since I've uploaded on this channel. But I've been very busy with work and that. Anyway, the reason why I'm making a vlog today is because I want to show you something. I've had a new bathroom floor fitted. It's a very nice pale blue. Oh, it stinks a bit. Let's open the window. So yeah, the guy who fitted it literally just left. Used to be a beige, tiley one. But now as you can see, it looks like the kind of floor you get in the school toilets. And he's sealed around the loo as well, and along the bath, and around the sink. So we'll just let it dry for a bit. When my mum and I were picking out a floor for this bathroom, she suggested the blue. But to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of it. But now that it's in, I think it looks pretty good. Also got a new piece of carpet for this hallway here because my mum had to dig up a bit of the old carpet to get out some more old lino that was stuck under this metal strip here. I've picked a very similar carpet as possible to all the other carpets I have in my flat. Yeah, I'm just sorting out clothes. And to be honest, you can't really tell from far away. I mean, well, you probably can, but it looks looks pretty similar. I'm okay with it. Anyway, it's one o'clock, as you can see. Some more clothes. Here we go. This is what the old bathroom, fo bathroom floor used to look like. Anyway, I'm about to head off because my mum volunteers at a food bank every Wednesday. And what I'm going to do is take a few bags to food bank because they hand out the food in lots of shopping bags and I have too many as you can see so I'm going to have a massive clear out and take some bags to the food bank so yeah without further ado guys I'll see you in a bit okay so I've just had a massive clear out of all the shopping bags obviously I've kept a few I've basically just sorted out all the Asda bags and put them in this laundry bag so there's plenty in there, some boxes of cereal as well, and actually, while I was rooting around in here, I found a bunch of old receipts that I've kept from when I topped up the electricity meter. Got about seven quid left, that should keep me going for a few days. In fact, the oldest one dates back to the 2nd of September 2019, so that was shortly after I first moved in here. That's pretty interesting, might keep hold of those actually. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all the shopping bags I need. I'm now going to brave the elements, this horrible sta standard UK weather, and drive to food bank. So I'll see you guys there. Sorry, the ticket comes out there. How about that viewers? One pound for two hours. So as you can see, I've arrived in Bangor. Just had to pay for parking. So we'll put that on the dashboard. Take the keys. Got all the bags here. Got my mask as well, obviously. Grab my phone as well. lock and load and actually managed to squeeze my car into a mini spot look at that just about fits anyway let's go so yeah, my mum's been volunteering at food bank for a while now she used to do it every Monday and I used to help her but now she does it every Wednesday I'm literally just gonna just I'm literally just gonna drop off these bags and then go get something to eat because I haven't had lunch yet. And I'm not gonna film in the rain. So once again, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so dropped off the bags. Just been to Cafe Nero, got myself iced coffee, because why not? <clears throat> I'm walking back through the Daniel Centre. 
which is quite dead, to be honest. I'll walk back to the car. Yeah, I know I paid for two hours parking, but I've only been here for 10 minutes and not much else to do really. So I might go back home, enjoy my coffee first. Okay. I'm literally just parked around the corner. There it is. Just got my keys. Check out my big mask beard. Oh, I'm boiling in this red coat. Um, let's put that in the cup holder there. So yeah, I've still got the old Corsa. Still going. I'm actually on the way down here today. The check engine light came on. Oh, now it's suddenly gone off. But as I came down here, the check engine light was on. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. What are you on about? But it does that sometimes. It comes on for no apparent reason and then magically goes off again. So I'll just take my mask off. So anyway, yeah, don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might go home, have a late lunch, just kind of chillax for a bit. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.